When Yash Verma heard about plans to add an extra year of training for family doctors, he was alarmed. Our class, the class of 2027, is going to be the first that's impacted. He asked his classmates for their thoughts. More than half said that if this third year were to happen, they would not become family doctors. And what concerns me about this extra year is that it may exacerbate the already present family doctor shortage. Health ministers across the country also don't support the plan. The ministers also spoke clearly about residency requirements, unanimously said that the residency requirements should stay at two years. But the college says patient needs are getting more complex and that two years isn't enough time to cover everything family doctors need to know, like elder care, mental health and addictions, and Indigenous health. Our first goal is to broaden the base of training and the kinds of exposures that family docs get that will truly equip them. BC family doctor Paul Dillon has submitted a motion for the college's upcoming annual general meeting, calling on it to immediately cease the implementation of the third year in family practice program pending an independent review. My honest sincere hope is that they'll listen to the membership, listen to family doctors both in the present and those that are coming through in the future uh, and just pause hold uh, and maybe stop, uh, stop this madness. So your research, if I was to summarize... University Dylan says he'll also share the, the concerns from Verma's classmates at the AGM. We're the ones that are going to be directly impacted by this change. And so I feel like we should have a, a say in this as well. I have four minutes. That's what I have to speak on. Um, but I can definitely say that. The AGM vote is not binding, but there is hope it will raise awareness and discussion for all of the groups affected. Karen Pauls, CBC News, Winnipeg.